I was constantly studying wine. I read every book that um, UC Davis had on winemaking and winemaking styles and all that. Traveled a lot in Europe. I was very, very particular about how wine was made. I, I think the, probably the most important part was understanding classic winemaking styles. And what I was interested in is what made a great wine a great wine. Uh, we'll probably harvest this next week at about 25 bricks, which is uh, percent sugar, sugar content. Um, so right now we like we'll go through and I kind of know the bricks level, but you'll get some grapes and you want to look at the inside, look at the seed color, and then chew it. It might be ripe like on like a numerical standard, like the pH might be right and the bricks might be right, but. If you can go through and you taste through stuff, and if it's feeling a bit off, then you might wait a little bit. Yeah, they'll, they do it at night. We start about usually eight, nine at night, and they go to four or five in the morning. The grapes never get warm. They take them down, cold process them, put them right in the fermentation tanks while they're cold. Actually, if you go into the winery right now, you'll find some on dry ice. How do you use classic winemaking styles and use the science behind it to make a wine that is absolutely what Americans would like, but a structure that is very, very European in style? That means lower in alcohol, a little higher in acidity, um, but a fresh fruit character that is very, very appropriate with food, because that little bit of acidity makes your mouth water and when your mouth is watering your taste buds are engaged and when your taste buds are engaged it uh, tells your brain it's time for food. What was important to me about that is a whole idea of wine and food go together. I, I spent so much time in Europe. The thought of an alcoholic beverage never enters people's minds there. It is a beverage you have with meals. It's not an alcoholic beverage, so somehow it's, it's about the alcohol or something. I, I never thought about it. It's a beverage you have with, with food. So I just couldn't think of the idea of not having a restaurant, having a bistro, um, and having some great chefs and good food. Mm -hmm.